Hi there, Crystal Thompson here for Unity Stamp Company Project using a beautiful color combo of yellow and pinks to create a candy inspired card using some no line Copic coloring on that beautiful stamp set and some rose gold embellishments and heat embossing. So stay tuned on how to create this beautiful card. Be sure to click subscribe and likes to get more notifications on videos such as these so stay tuned all right guys so for this project we're using the so grateful it's a beautiful stamp set let me show you my little gal here this is from lisa she designed this and i have done some no line copic coloring and then cut it really close to the stamp set so you get that beautiful no line watercolor or no line copic coloring with it and then we're going to be using the sentiment. So one stamp set we're going to be doing with this card. You are going to need some rose gold. And I just felt if I had some hot pink, I'd use it for my sentiment. But I'm using the Lawn Fawn Rose Gold. And then for our background, we're going to need a water brush and some yellow watercolors. Along with a little bit of pink so we can flick it and get ready to go. So let's get started by embossing our sentiment using that rose gold. So I have that ready to go on my acrylic block. Be sure to ink it up and have a piece of cardstock or something to place under your heat embossing so you can get that gorgeous rose gold embossing powder back into its container. So I'm just going to hold this down. I am using watercolor cardstock, which makes it a little bit more difficult when you're doing some heat embossing. So I'm holding it down for just a couple seconds to be sure that I'm going to get a nice clean and crisp image. I have a piece of scrap uh, printer paper here. I'm going to add that gold. I'm totally obsessed with rose gold at the moment. And then we have this beautiful sentiment ready to go. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. So I'm going to just move this to the side before we heat set it so we don't heat set all that excess either before we place it back in our container. Turn on our gun and we're going to do the embossing from the bottom of the watercolor cardstock and the reason why is so you don't lose the embossing powder so it doesn't blow it away and it takes just a little bit longer to heat up but it works out really well and you can see when that heat has um, cured that heat embossing when it's heat set it and then you can just move up to the upper part of the stamp and just move it around. Be sure not to leave it in one spot. And we'll just come to the top, make sure we got everything. So now it's not gonna make our powder go all over the place and we are ready to watercolor. So I'm gonna put this aside and bring in my water. So this is the Koi watercolor palette. You're gonna grab a water brush and so we're gonna add some water to the to the color so that way it kind of softens it and we're ready to roll and be sure to use a white end brush so i'm going to go grab that and we're going to begin the water coloring while these colors kind of start absorbing that water okay so i have my white brush we're going to begin with the lightest of these yellows and we're going to begin with one line across and we're going to grab that same color and bring it onto the edges and what this is going to do is going to really soften that first line and is going to make the rest of our card very light. So you're creating your own patterns using watercolors in a wide brush and just keeping everything very simple and very sweet and it matches that stamp set very well. So as I'm making this card and I'm adding these watercolor strokes, I'm changing a little bit of the yellow into a bit of an orange and then adding more water to really create that gradient and see how it goes from orange to yellow. And you don't have to grab a ton of it. All you have to do is just add a little bit more water if you do end up grabbing um, more color than you thought. You can even add some pink in there but I just felt this that stamp set, the So Grateful stamp set, was a very sweet stamp set that needed a soft, soft look. So I'm loving this gradient creation using watercolors. 
And as you can see, I'm not having to be super, super careful about it, but you still get that really pretty color. So now that that's done, we're cleaning off our brush and I just have a little baby wipe here. I'm going to come in with my pink. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to add it to my palette and add more water because it's a really dark pink. So if you have a very limited selection of colors, you can change them based on adding more water. So if you want to make it softer, you add more water. If you want to make it something a little bit thicker, then you add less water or really allow it to soak up. Making that a little bit more pink. And then we're going to flicker. And I feel like this looks like something out of Willy Wonka, just super sugary and sweet. We're going to let that dry for a couple minutes before we go on and placing this on our card base and adding that beautiful little gal from the So Grateful stamp set. All right, so our watercolor is all dry, so we're ready to begin placing the beautiful So Grateful gal and little doggy. So I totally went with a very girly look, and I used the Ink on 3 No Line Coloring stamp set. So you can use a skin color or a very light brown, and that Copic is just going to really absorb it. So it's a very sweet color combination. I feel like it needs a little bit of embellishment. So I'm using the Nouveau Drops, and these are Gloss Bubblegum Blush. And I'm just going to add these just on the top. And I'm going to add itty bitty ones and variations of sizes. And I'm very pleased by the way this turned out. It really does look like a very fun um sweet color and I feel like this could be used for both adults and children so guys that does it for me thank you so much for joining me today on this tutorial using the so grateful stamp set designed by Lisa Glanz from unity have a lovely day